What do you think is the your favorite ad that you ever created? Uh, my favorite ad is an ad I did for uh, for McGraw Hill to get people to read books. It was about books. I, I decided to get famous people to write ads about knowledge, and I got uh, Moshe Diane. I got Dr. Edward Teller, who author of the hydrogen bomb. I got Dr. Christian Bernard, who was the first doctor to replace the heart, and I got Coretta Scott King. Uh, and I wrote the headline for Moshe Diane that said. Before Hitler could kill six million Jews, he had to burn six million books. And he wrote a beautiful essay on what it's, how much he wanted to be uh, a farmer and not a warrior. And the ad won uh, a major award in advertising, you know, what, what, what a, a gold key, which was the biggest award. And I had to inscribe it, and it was inscribed, headline, Jerry Della Femina, body copy, Moshe Dayan. And uh, I'm very proud of that ad because it, you know th this is this is not selling cat food. This is like this, could you this have stuff. sold cat food in oh, a very I successful way? Cat. Yes, we had the singing cat. And, and yum, tell yum, me, yum, tell yum. me about the sort of the the moment of inspiration for the singing cat because I'm well. The moment of inspiration for the singing cat came when the cat was choking on a piece of cat food and it was doing this. An actual cat? Actual cat? Yeah, we were shooting a different commercial, and the cat's choking on a piece of cat food, and uh, my partner actually turned and said. You know, it looks like it's singing, and let's put music to it. Meow Mix from Purina, the cat food with three separate flavors in one package. Three flavors that cats love best. Tuna, liver, and chicken. Meow Mix tastes so good, cats ask for it by name. Meow. Did you have to choke cats repeatedly to get that, or how did it well, work? The, the client wanted us, they, they kept saying, well, can't you do it again? And we said, no. I mean, this was an accident. The cat was choking, we put music to it. It was the highest scoring commercial in, in the history of this Merck scoring system. And it built uh, Meow Mix into a number one business. We did Finger Man for uh, Dow, which was a uh, Dow. Uh, that was another Ziploc. Ziploc. Wasn't that it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ziploc presents Finger Man. Hi, I am here to demonstrate an amazing achievement, introducing the new Gripper Zipper from Ziploc. Now the easiest closing bag there is. In fact, I can even close it with my hands tied behind my back. Yes, the zipper is grabbing hold. It's locking. Feel it close the first time, every time. Ziploc bags with the new Gripper Zipper. <clears throat> the easiest closing bag there is. Very good, Finger Man. You're going to time me now. Hey, hey, where are you going? Ziploc Very bag. great commercial. And thou bathroom cleaner. I mean, you know, the, the, the satisfaction of saying, I sold a lot of bathroom cleaner. It's really, I mean, it just chokes me up when I think of it. Now, you've seen, you literally have seen, uh, you know, 70% of the history of advertising. You know, you just weren't there at the very yeah. beginning, you were too young, but yeah. you've seen most of it. And we have undergone some amazing changes, certainly with the proliferation of media, with the way the cable channels have changed the marketplace. Is advertising still at its core the same thing as it was then, or has it actually changed? Is the medium the message? Uh, it's changed dramatically. Uh, Talk to me a little bit about that. The creative revolution is over. Uh, those what, what does that mean? I have to stop you. What does yeah. that mean, really? Well, when did the creative revolution start? Why don't, we, why don't we begin with that? In the it, 60s? It started with the, with the Jewish ethnic agencies, really. What was the death knell of the creative revolution? If it started in the 60s, what year did it end? It ended around, I'm going to say, 1980, 85. Uh, it, it ended the way all that... Uh, all revolutions end because of arrogance, our own arrogance, or whatever we, we, we did wrong. It ended because uh, we went from the era of being creative to, to an era of uh, investment banking. It ended because corporations suddenly realized that they can't, they couldn't take any, any risk. The, the relationships, but you know, I notice now, especially with, with CMOs and these large holding companies, really trapping in a sense some of the some of the average the, uh, the the clients to use certain agencies regardless you know and, and there are many examples of this it seems like there's a lot less room for creativity as a result of the structures that contextualize our business yeah. it's tougher uh, because it's all about the bottom line uh, there isn't that sense of adventure hey we're going to build this product we're going to do this we're going to do that uh, it's really now people saying 
Uh, what do they cut first? The advertising budget. What do they cut first? The, the marketing budget. Well, but why? Because that, that money goes right to the bottom line. And if it doesn't work, well, we'll fire somebody. <laughs> we'll fire the agency. 